everyone, it's Penny Black here to introduce you to our newest collection called Autumn Extraordinaire. So if you love all things fall, autumn, colors changing, sweaters, the new season, then this is the place to be and this is the collection of new stamps and dies for you. So we're going to walk you through each new product and show you lots of card ideas with it as well. So to start off, we're going to give you a look at our newest standalone dies. The first one is called Autumn Decor and this comes with everything you need to create your own Autumn Decor right on your card. So this first card sample will give you a look. You get the mason jars, the shelf, all of the different grasses and wheat as well as everything you need to build that beautiful sunflower. And you can see that those grasses and all of those little elements in the shelf can be mixed and matched with other stamps um, that are part of this collection or that you have in um, in your stash. You can see you can tuck those little pieces of wheat here and there and just it really adds a lot to your cards. And here's a, another card with just a little bit of that, those extra little pieces tucked in here and there. Now the next standalone that die that we have for you is called Fall Foliage. This cuts two fall leaves and also separately the veins that go on top of those leaves. And these are really dynamic when you add that veining right on the top because it's a separate die. You can cut it and easily color it in different colors. Here you can see this used on a couple of cards. And if you're seeing some new stamps mixed in here, you have a good eye. And I'll be sharing more about those with you in just a minute. Here you can see a collection of those leaves where all the veins are the same color and then just added a variety of colors to the leaves. Now the next standalone die is called Windy. This is a really unique die that cuts the trunks, two different trunks, and then several different um, sort of geometric leaves and sort of the top parts of the trees. And it's so easy, there's no wrong way. You can layer up those different geometric pieces and create this gorgeous dimension, really unique looking fall leaves. You can do them in any fall colors that you love. And it's also great is that you can can also use this any time of the year. You could use those trunks with the branches with nothing on it for winter time or you can use green leaves or even pinks. You could add flowers for springtime. Here you can see one that's got the greens and the yellows. You can add them to your scenes or make them the primary focal point of your card. Here you can even see it where it was used as just a branch of a tree kind of coming off from the side of the card. And you, again, you can use the little sort of trunk pieces. You can see they're tucked in here on this card as sort of sticks or branches that are really great for Halloween card designs. Next up we have 51-654 Carved Cuties. This is a really adorable set of pumpkins and what's great too is they also cut the um, sort of the stem of the pumpkin separately so it's easy to add the other colors. You also have the eek and the boo and that happy little face right there on the pumpkins themselves and they look great together or added as a simple embellishment to any of your Halloween or fall card making. Here we have Halloween Gate. That This cuts this wonderful gate that fits perfectly across a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. Or if you turn the card landscape, it will fit as shown here. Now so far, all of the cards that you're seeing are standard A2 size cards, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Now we're going to take a look, now that we've looked at our dies, at all things autumn. So this is when you need to grab your apple cider or your warm coffee or hot cocoa and just get ready to enjoy all things fall. This first stamp set is called Bountiful Beauty. This is the most lovely set. It works great when colored with any medium. Here the images were stamped around the perimeter of the card and painted in using distress ink water distressed ink refills used as watercolors for simpler designs here are just individual images stamped I love how these are laid out ready for you to just stamp and color and the whole design is just gorgeous and very unique and whimsical for a fall sort of floral look to your cards 
Next we have Harvest Wishes and the Exact Match Cutout Harvest Wishes Cutout. And this is a beautiful wreath and cornucopia and that great sentiment harvest wishes as well. So here is a card with that cornucopia featured cut using the cutout die. And then here is a look at that wreath. Now it's wonderful that you can die cut that wreath. And I'll show you here just a look at what dimension that adds to your card and then you can tuck little critters or animals inside of there or add your sentiment, but it just cuts beautifully and also has that whimsical feel with the acorns hanging down and the mushrooms. Now if you need some new fabulous leaf stamps here is Falling Leaves and Falling Leaves Cutout. These are so fun and so many possibilities with these for fall or year round. Here again they've been stamped around the perimeter of the card and then painted in with a mix of watercolor and gouache paints. Here they have been stamped and colored with alcohol markers and then cut out using the cutout die and arranged into a wreath. Next we have wagon full and wagon full cutout. And this is another really fun stamp to, um, to color in. Pumpkins are just such fun. And here is a card featuring this colored with alcohol markers and then cut out using the cutout die. And then this next card features it stamped and then painted in with watercolors. And you can see you can get such a different look just by changing up the colors and changing up the mediums used to color it in. Now, speaking of pumpkins, here is Hello Pumpkin and Hello Pumpkin Cutout. You can mix and match the stems on these pumpkins, stack them up. Um, the cutout dies make it perfect for that. Here is that card you saw at the beginning with that just gorgeous, happy pumpkin sitting up on top of that shelf with the Hello Autumn sentiment. And here's another one featuring a different pumpkin from the set, stamped um, one layer onto watercolor paper and painted with a mix of watercolor and gouache. Now, we love to bring you our brush stroke stamps and we have three new autumn themed ones to fall for. So here is a look at the first one. This is called Pumpkin Season and it is this really unique a wheelbarrow filled with pumpkins and two little birds you can add to your wheelbarrow or your scene wherever you would like. Here this was stamped using archival inks and then painted on top with watercolors and some details were also added with colored pencils. This next stamp is Pick of the Patch with some fabulous brush stroke silhouette style pumpkin stamps. I use the same techniques to create this card and it's just such fun to have this row of pumpkins turn different ways. It just makes you think about being at the pumpkin patch picking out some new favorites. Now here is this gorgeous sunflower stamp called Rise and Shine and this stamp if you're new to brush stroke stamping or It works well with just very basic inking um, and it's easy to apply the ink to the petals and the leaves. Now Hedgy, our Hedgy and friends are getting ready for fall and Halloween. This first set is Harvest Breeze and it does have the exact match cutouts available and which makes designing cards and scenes with these so easy and so fun. Here is a card you did get a peek at this with that die cut for the tree up there, the branch coming down, but you can mix and match and stack these little guys as they're getting ready for fall. Here they are stamped onto craft card stock and colored with colored pencils. Another really fun way to color these in and give that white a really fun pop. This little guy was cut out using the exact match die, the cutouts, and then layered onto the card. And another little one down here peering up at those die cut leaves. They're just so cute and I love the small size. It's small and that just adds to the cuteness of those little hedgies. And this little guy is ready for fall sitting on his stack of die cut pumpkins and his collection of acorns. Now here is another set. This is Candy Kisses and Candy Kisses Cutout. So you can cut out the hedgie and the pumpkin and all his little candies. And he has some really fun sentiments with him too. So here he is ready to go with his candies and just a fun little Halloween scene. And another card featuring that same little guy colored with colored pencils onto craft card stock and just all that candy floating down. He is ready to get that and go trick or treating. 
Next up is Goofy Ghoul. I just love that little ghost face. Oh my goodness, I think he's so, so cute. And speaking of, here he is on this card. He is just too cute to spook as he's flying across the sky there with his little hedgy friend down below. Now we have another set. This is Sugared, the cute Halloween, a happy cat, nothing scary there, and a little hedgy in his cat costume. And they are ready to wish everyone a spectacular spooky season on this card. And just as I did with the other hedgy cards shown before, I also did a variation of these two guys uh, stamped onto craft paper and colored with colored pencils. Now we have a couple of owlsome new stamp sets that are just full of whimsy and if you love owls these are just really un unique takes on owls ready for Halloween and the fall. So the first one here is Halloween magic. We've got an owl witch and a really cute owl ghost in their fun little candy bags. And this card design is one of the tall slim cards which is a fun card idea and card layout to give a try if you're looking to spruce things up. And our next set here is Owlsum. And these are our pumpkin owls. And they are so cute and so fun to color. And I also really love the whimsical leaves that come in this set too. So here they're stacked up and ready to wish some love from our patch to yours. Now we have even more whimsy and sweetness with these next stamp sets. They are beyond cute and this next one is one of my absolute favorites. This is Hugs and Cuddles and it does have the Hugs and Cuddles cut out also. And I love that this can be used for fall or really any time of year. So the first three cards here, I've added this with the Harvest Wishes wreath stamped lightly in the background. They do fit lovely, perfectly inside of that wreath. And just put them on our paper scroll die cut. And then any sentiment could be added with these. These could be for birthday cards, thinking of you, get well, um, just the, you know the sentiment that's included, sending hugs and cuddles. So it's a very versatile stamp set but you can definitely give it a very autumn or fall look if you um, pair it up with some die cut leaves or here where I have matched that up with the wreath. They look great colored in any type of medium from watercolor to alcohol markers to colored pencils. You can't go wrong when coloring in these adorable little critters and here is one more this is the fox from that set and just layered here with some leaves and I just love his scarf and his hat so fun to pick different color schemes for that now for even more whimsy and sweetness we have bats and cats so you can't go wrong with bats cats and spooky wishes this first card, I took more of a fall theme with this than a Halloween, so you have lots of choices with this set and added this cute little pumpkin cat to a fall scenery. And here I've made some tags with these and you'll see a few more tags as well. These are great to have for Halloween for gift giving. Put them with a little treat and you just add a nice handmade touch to any type of gift. So they're really fun um, to add to these tags. Color them in. Very simple to do. And these long mummy animals are so adorable. I've kind of used a card sketch here and you'll see a couple of more with this sketch with these long animals. And speaking of, here we've got more with our spooky season stamp set. I can't get enough of these critters. I made a card with every single one. They are just so cute. Here's the little dog, again following that card sketch that I did before with our curved stitch die used at the bottom. And then another one here with that curved stitch and pop in the die cut tag with the white embossed sentiment and you are good to go. And then finally, more tags. Those are again great for gift giving, uh, treat giving at Halloween or in the fall. So this guy is ready to give some candy kisses. And then we have this spooky, spooky dog who is definitely more cute than he is spooky. And for our last set here that we'll take a look at, this is Your Perfect, definitely brings the sweetness to this collection. And you'll see a card designed here with this stamp set. We thank you so much for taking a closer look at this collection, and we hope you have enjoyed Autumn Extraordinaire and all things fall and Halloween. Thanks for watching.